Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. And we have a matchup here today of the 1984 Boston College Eagles versus the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The Boston College Eagles led by Doug Flutie, Heisman Trophy winner from 1984. Ten wins, two losses will take on the national champions of 1977 led by Joe Montana. The Fighting Irish in 77 in their national championship season went 11 wins and 1 loss. And this will be the Turkey Bowl. Game being played at Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Packed house here. I will be playing as both offenses. The computer will play as both defenses. First time I've done this, I, I think this would be a fun thing. As two good offensive teams. Doug Flutie takes on Joe Montana. Again, the Turkey Bowl. Let's quickly go to the starting offensive lineups for the 1984 Boston College Eagles. The running backs are Stratford and Bell. The wide receivers are Phelan and Martin. Tight end. Gieselman. The quarterback, Heisman Trophy winner from 1984, Doug Flutie. Tackles are McDonald and Regent. The guards are Trapillo, oh, Trapillo, excuse me, and Bardwell. The center is Bicknell. For the 1977 Notre Dame offense, led by Joe Montana, you got the two running backs, Havens and Ferguson. Wide receivers, Haynes and Dickerson. The tight end, McAfee. Quarterback, as I stated, Joe Montana. The tackles, McDaniels and Foley. The guards, Hughes and Horansky. The center, Huffman. The BC defense, the defensive ends, Thomas and Garecki. Defensive tackles, Ruth and Harrington. Outside linebackers, Romanowski and Van, Van Nice. Middle linebacker, Pihali. Cornerbacks, Russell and Eiton. Safeties, Thurman and Pereira. For the 77 Fighting Irish, defensive ends, Browner and Fry. Defensive tackles, Dyke and, Co and Calhoun. Outside linebackers, Hemkrit and Becker. Middle linebacker, Golick. Cornerbacks, Bradley and Bergmeier. Safeties, Browner and Restick. Alrighty, it's an even line here for this game, the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Kickoff coming momentarily. The BC Eagles have won the toss and elect to receive. Deep man for the Boston College Eagles of 1984, Bell. The short men are Taylor and Williams. Here's the kickoff. And we're on our way for the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park. Here come the BC Eagles on the return. That's a pretty good one. Holding. Receiving team. Ah. Uh. Russell with the hold nullifies a 27-yard return for the Boston College Eagles. So instead of starting, well, let's change that up here. Let's go to options, game preferences. As this is a best of league, and they don't give you the numbers for the players. You have to put them in yourself. So let's change the display here. Game display. Um... Display. Field display. Okay. Highlight chalkboard. Display uniform numbers. No. There we go. 
these are ratings instead. All right. So here comes Doug Flutie and the BC offense starting first and 10 on their own six. We're going to give the ball to... We're in the shadows of our own end zone, Stratford. Sweep right with Stratford. Here comes a sweep. Stratford looks two tough yards brought down. By Fry, that's his first tackle for Notre Dame. So it brings up second and eight. Doug Flutie breaks the huddle. Again, the Eagles come up to the line of scrimmage. Short and quick. Short and quick to Phelan. Flutie back to pass. He fires to Phelan. And he couldn't hang on to it as he was double covered. The Irish were looking for that. They were in a 4-3 normal man, doubling failing, so it brings up a third and eight for the BC Eagles and Doug Flutie. Let's go screen to Stratford. Big play here. They set up the screen. Incomplete. Tremendous pass, ru pass rush on Flutie by the 77. Notre Dame front seven, fourth and eight, and the BC Eagles will have to punt. They will punt deep, deep for the Fighting Irish, Bergmeier, doing the punting for Boston College's Peach. Here's the punt. That's a short one. The Irish will start in excellent field position, first and 10 on the Boston College 39-yard line. Here comes Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, the 1977 national champions. And we're going to play action fake with Montana. Medium hitch to Haynes. Montana play action face. He takes off running. Gain of three. Ruth on the tackle for the BC Eagles. First tackle by the defensive uh, tackle, Mike Ruth. So Montana really didn't have anything there as Boston College had good coverage. 4-3 pass, tight man. So second and seven from the Boston College, 36. Montana breaks the huddle. Here come the Fighting Irish up to the line of scrimmage. Off tackle left. They're going to go off tackle left with Vegas Ferguson. Ferguson busts through. He fumbles the ball. Big hit. Who has it? Notre Dame recovers. As Thomas applied the hit, Vegas Ferguson, the ball came loose, and Havens, the other running back, recovers it, and it's going to bring up third and four, so BC had a big opportunity there. But Havens saves Notre Dame from a crucial turnover, so third and four on the Boston College, 33-yard line, a field goal attempt here, 28% uh, chance for Reeve. He's warming up on the sideline. So it's third and four. We're going to keep Havens and Ferguson in the block. We're going to go play action fake. Play action fake. Short hitch. To McAfee. Back to pass. Montana throws incomplete. They were looking for the short hitch to McAfee. It was well covered. Montana tried to uh, dump it off to Havens, who blocked and then released. It's incomplete and brings up fourth and four from the BC 33. Field goal attempt here. Only 28%. This is the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. And we're going to go for it. We are going to go for it. Sweep right. Sweep sweep right with Vegas Ferguson. We're going for it on fourth and four. Hand off to Ferguson. He gets around the corner. First down and more. Great blocking up front by the Fighting Irish. Gain of ten. Finally brought down by Von, Von Neeson. 
from Boston College. So first and ten for the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish on the BC 23. Again, Montana and Notre Dame break the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Dive play to Havens. Ball's given to Havens. He's through the middle. That's a gain of five. And Vegas Ferguson was shaking up. He's going off the field for a play. And there's lots of Notre Dame fans here at Fenway Park. You'd think there'd be more Boston College fans, but it's a 50-50 split here for the uh, Turkey Bowl from Fenway. So it's second and five. Second and five. Going to go play action fake. Medium hitch to McAfee. Again, play action fake. Montana throws touchdown to McAfee. The play action fake throws the BC defense. And the 1977 national champions, Notre Dame fighting Irish around the board as that was a Montana medium hitch to McAfee touchdown. And let's watch that replay before the extra point. Again, play action fake, freeze them, bam, Montana throws a bullet to McAfee. There it is one more time as he beat the defender. So 6 nothing. Notre Dame, here comes the field goal kicker to attempt the extra point. The snapper plays the kick, he missed! He missed! Reeve shanks the extra point left. Oh, he shanked that horribly, and it's only 6 to nothing. And missed extra points usually come back to haunt you. So here comes the kickoff as Doug Flutie and the BC offense readies themselves, trailing by six. That's a huge extra point miss by the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Deep for Boston, Bell. The short men are Taylor and Williams. Here's the kickoff by Reeve. The return is on for BC. Fielded around the 20. This is a big return out to the 40. Illegal block. Oh, Receiving another. Team. Another illegal block after a very good return, so that's going to back up Boston College once again. And instead of starting what looks like to be first and 10 on the 40, they're going to be first and 10 once again in the shadows of their own end zone. So first and 10 on the BC6, another illegal block on a kickoff. Run counter, run counter, play action fake. Run counter, play action fake. Um, pitch right. Pitch right to Bell. There it is, the pitch out to Bell. Bell gets around the corner, he's gone! Nine yards, just short of a first down, the play action fake. And Flutie quickly pitched it out to Bell. Good blocking up front as uh, Stratford, the other back, led the way. And it's now second and one for the BC Eagles from their 15, trailing by six here at the Turkey Bowl in Fenway Park. Eye formation for the BC Eagles. The up back is Bell, excellent run blocker. Behind him is Stratford, who would go on to play for the Miami Dolphins, I believe. Play action fake. Medium fly on the play action fake to Phelan. Hut, hut. Play action fake. Instead, he dumps it down, and that's a gain of 12. Flutie checks down to the up back Bell, who was finally brought down by Golick. And that'll be Golick's first tackle, but it's first and 10 for the BC Eagles on their own 27. So a good job by Doug Flutie, the 1984 Heisman Trophy winner. Remember, the 84 Boston College Eagles went 10-2, and two, and they had a victory in the Cotton Bowl. The 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish, 11-1, won the national title, and I also believe had a victory in the Cotton Bowl. So Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles break the huddle. They come up to the line of scrimmage. Eye formation once again. Dive play to Stratford. Bell's up front. Stratford gets through three tough yards there. Three tough yards. And it's second and seven from the BC 30. 
I, uh, they're going to go split backfield, Boston College. Split backfield, short and quick, short and quick to get uh, Gieselman, the tight end. Flutie back to pass, it's a blitz, and Flutie is brought down. Four-yard loss, no place to go. Bicknell, the center is shaken up, but he's going to remain in the game. Oh, my God, that was a jailhouse blitz. Doug Flutie had no place to go. Watch this replay, folks. Everybody breaks through. Four blitzers. They were doubling, failing. If we, if Flutie had time, the tight end could have ran forever, Gieselman. But watch this. Look at this. Bam! Everyone breaks through. Doug Flutie, no place to go, but down to the turf here at Fenway Park. So it brings up third and 11, 6 nothing. Notre Dame, 9.05 to play in the first quarter of this turkey bowl. Flutie will be in shotgun. Three for Bell. Six. Stratford will go out wide. Bell will stay in the block. Eleven. Looking for a medium hitch. Medium hitch. Oh, boy. That's not looking too good. Let's go short hitch. Need eleven. Short hitch. Short hitch to the tight end. Gieselman. There's a shotgun snap. Flutie fired. Intentional grounding. Oh, Parker's my God. Intentional grounding. Get out of down. here. Oh, Doug Flutie and Jack Bicknell on the sideline are going spastic with that call. It's an, they wanted an interference call as they felt Gieselman was being held off the line, but they call intentional grounding a 10-yard penalty. Makes it 4th and 21, and here comes the punt team once again for the BC Eagles. So they get two first downs, and the drive stalls. 6 nothing. Notre Dame, 8-24 to play in the first quarter, and here comes the punt team. As Peach comes back out for Boston College, he'll be punting deep to Bergmeier. Snap the punt. This one's a little better, and Bergmeier makes the fair catch. So Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. First and 10 on their own 33-yard line. Montana has thrown a touchdown pass to McAfee. Reeve missed the extra point, though. 6-0 game. They're going to go sweep left. Attack that weak left side here. Right here. That's a very weak left side. Uh, right side, excuse me. They're going to go sweep right. Vegas Ferguson. Hot. Ferguson, and this time he is smothered. No game. BC was playing a 4-3 basic man. Defensive line to the outside, so they're looking for the sweep by Ferguson. Brings up second and ten. Run counter for the Irish. Trap right. Havens. There's the ball to Havens. He's got a pretty good hole there. Gain of six. Tackle by Russell for the BC Eagles. And it brings up third and four on the Notre Dame 39. 7.31 to play in the first quarter. Boston College. Play action fake. Run counter. Pitch right to Ferguson. There's the pitch right. Ferguson has room, and he's through that line. A big gaping hole. That's a gain of 15. As Ferguson needs a breather, he'll be out for three plays. Coming in is Mitchell for the Fighting Irish. Horansky, another big hole. That front line, that front offensive line for the Irish has so far dominated the BC7. So first and 10 in the Boston College, 46. Run counter. Trap right. Havens. Ball's given to Havens. And Bill Romanansky comes up to plug that hole. A gain of just one. That's Romanansky's first tackle for Boston College. Brings up second and nine on the Boston College 45-yard line. 6.44 to play in the first quarter here at the Turkey Bowl. Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. The 1984 Boston College Eagles, led by Heisman Trophy winner Doug Flutie versus 
the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish National Champions led by Joe Montana. So it's second and nine. And he's going to look screen, screen, and Ferguson's back in the game. They're going to go screen to Vegas Ferguson. Montana, here's the screen set up. Incomplete. Heavy rush. Montana felt the pressure. Couldn't set his feet. So a good job by the Boston College front seven to apply that uh, rush on that screen pass. So it's third and nine here for Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish. Third and nine. Play action pass. Run counter. Pitch right. Where's pitch right? Pitch right. Vegas Ferguson. They're keying it. We're sticking with it. There's the pitch right. Ferguson gets around the corner, but is brought down from behind. Only a game of four. Excellent tackle by Harrington. And it will be fourth and five from the Boston College. 41, 5.58 to play. 6 nothing Notre Dame here at the Turkey Bowl in Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. So fourth and five. And here comes the Notre Dame punt team looking to pin BC back. So Restick comes out to punt. Phelan's deep on the 41. He's going to try to punt to the sideline. The snap. And it's a good sideline punt. It's about the 15-yard line. No, at the 10. At the 10. So Doug Flutie and the BC offense comes out. They'll start first and 10 on their 10. This is their third drive that will start inside the 10. At the 10 or inside the 10. They're trailing 6-0, 519 to go in the first quarter. Again, BC will switch to the I formation. The up back is Bell. Behind him is Stratford. And they're going to go off tackle right. Off tackle right with Stratford. And Stratford just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Struggles forward for a one yard gain. Gang tackled. Uh, by the Irish front seven, Fry will get credit for the tackle. That's his second tackle. Brings up second and nine. Stratford will go out wide. Bell behind Flutie. Dive play. Bell. And Bell has very little room. That's another one-yard gain. That front seven is very dominant uh, by the fighting Irish. Tackle by Becker. That's his second tackle for Notre Dame. So it brings up third and eight. They've basically shut down Phelan. Doug Flutie will be... Uh, we're going to go roll out. Roll out with Doug Flutie. Roll out with Doug Flutie. And need eight. Short slant. Phelan. So Flutie rolls out looking for Phelan. He fires! And he tried to check down to Stratford. was tipped away by Bergmeier. Brings up fourth and eight. And once again, Boston College will have to punt. 3.55 to go here in the first quarter. Here comes the punt team for BC. Peach back out there. He's back to punt. He awaits the snap. Deep for Notre Dame is Bergmeier who just broke up the play. The snap, the punt by Peach, Bergmeier has it, and it's a dead ball, he lets it roll, Boston College downs it on the Notre Dame 49, Joel Montana and the Irish O comes out to start this drive with 3.43 to play, and a 6-0 lead, Montana to McAfee, Reeve missed the extra point. Trap left, trap left to Vegas Ferguson. And Ferguson has a huge hole. Gain of nine. Finally dragged down by Thomas. That's Thomas's third tackle. Vegas Ferguson, six carries, 41 yards. As now they're going to go run counter, trap right to Havens. Second and one. Havens is stuffed. Van Neeson and Ruth were there. Van Neeson will be credited with the tackle. Tackle number four. And it brings up third and one. Third and one from the Boston College. 42. 2.51 to play in the first quarter. 
of this Turkey Bowl at Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Play action fake. Medium fly. Haynes. Montana looking for Haynes. He fires. It's caught. And Haynes is finally dragged down from behind after a 38-yard gain. It's on. Saved a touchdown, but it's going to be first and goal from the Boston College four. So on the play action fake third and one, Joe Montana goes with the medium fly over the top to Haynes. And that's his first reception for 38 yards. As Notre Dame's threatening to put more points on the board here once again. High formation. And we're going to go Montana. Bootleg Joe Montana. And Montana with the bootleg is in. Touchdown as he sprints in to the lower left-hand corner of the end zone on the bootleg. 12-0 Notre Dame. Let's watch that replay. Joe Montana and the bootleg. There it is. The bootleg. And in that lower left-hand corner for the touchdown as the BC defense bit one more time. Bootleg Joe Montana, touchdown, bam, there it is. So here comes Reeve now trying to make the extra point. He shanked the first one left. Here's the snap and the placement, and Reeve sends this one down the middle. It's now the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish 13, the 1984 Boston College Eagles nothing. 120 to play here in the first quarter. Boston College needs to put some points on the board here in this turkey bowl. Notre Dame of 1977 smelling a blowout. Here's the kickoff. Here comes Boston College. Hopefully no penalties on this. And they don't have any penalties. So this will be the first drive that they will start past their 10-yard line. As it will be first and 10 on the BC 44. 20-yard return by Bell. Brought down by Johnson. And here comes Doug Flutie. The 1984 Heisman Trophy winner for Boston College would go on to play in Canada, the U.S. in the USFL in Canada. Uh, then for the Patriot, well, the Bay Houston, Chicago, the Patriots, then to the Canadian Football League, and then back with Buffalo and San Diego. So Doug Flutie will go play action fake, bomb post. Bomb post to Phelan. Play action fake. Flutie and Flutie takes off running. Lots of room. First down. Gain of 11. Restic with the tackle. Flutie quickly saw that the Notre Dame defense was not going to give up anything. And Flutie just tucked the ball underneath and picked up 11 yards in the first down. First and 10 in the Notre Dame 45. Short and quick to Martin. Flutie back to pass. He fires to Martin. That's a gain of 12. Golick with the tackle. That's Golick's second tackle for the Fighting Irish. 20 seconds to go, and that will be it for the first quarter. So after one, the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish 13, and the 1984 Boston College Eagles, led by Heisman Trophy winner Doug Flutie, nothing. But BC is on the march. First and 10 on the 33 as we start the second quarter from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts in the Turkey Bowl. Split backfield for uh, BC. Wideouts Martin and Phelan. The tight end. Oh, there's the tight end. Gieselman. So we're going to look for uh, Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie sweep right. He's going to call his own number. There goes Doug Flutie. He gets around the corner. It's a 10-yard gain, an 11-yard gain. First down for Doug Flutie. As they've been keying the running backs, Boston College has been unable to uh, run the ball at all. And now Bicknell has gone to Flutie. And that was a sweep to the quarterback. A pickup of 11. First and 10. Another first down for the Boston College Eagles. They're now in the Notre Dame 22-yard line. Flutie on this drive has kept this vaunted Notre Dame defense off balance. Look at this Notre Dame defense. Cornerbacks, 10, 9. Their front 
line of 10, 9, 10, 7. They're linebackers, 9, 10, 9. Safeties, 9, 9. This is a tremendous 1977 uh, Notre Dame team which won the national title uh, going with a record of an 11, 11 and 1 and winning in the Cotton Bowl. Uh, the 84 Boston College Eagles went 10 and 2. Doug Flutie won the Heisman Trophy. And uh, they would also have a victory in the Cotton Bowl. And they're best known they beat Miami on the Hail Mary the day after Thanksgiving when Flutie hit Gerard Phelan. And remember, World War One's in the chat. How are you, my friend? Hope all is well. Happy Thanksgiving. He says, Hail Mary. That's right. That's right. The Hail Mary. Flutie to Phelan. One of the greatest plays in college football history. All right. So the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish are up 13 to nothing over the 84 Boston College Eagles in this turkey bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. We have a good friend in the chat. Remember World War One? Always good to see that, my good friend. All right, first and ten. I'm playing as both offenses. The computer is playing as both defenses. It's the first time I've done this uh, recording because I like Doug Flutie and I, I like the Joe Montana, the offensive matchup. All right, first and ten. We're going to go uh, play act. We're going to go draw. Draw to Bell. Here's the draw to Bell, and he doesn't get much at all. He barely gets back to the line of scrimmage, nailed by Becker. And that's Becker's third tackle. The Boston College Eagles have not been able to mount any type of run game at all, except for Doug Flutie. So it's second and ten, and we're going to go Doug Flutie. What are we going to do here? We're going to go roll out with Doug Flutie, trying to buy him some time. And Giesel, uh, Stratford... And Bell will stay in the block. Medium hitch. Medium. See, medium slant, 44%. Medium hitch, 42. Medium cross. I don't like. I want to stay away from the middle. We're going to go medium hitch to the tight end, Gieselman. Only a 38% chance, but that's what we're doing. Play action fake. Flutie takes off running once again up the middle. Pass the first down. Get a spin to the end zone. Touchdown, Doug Flutie. Boston College on the board. Flutie calls his own number. He kept the ball, and he went right up the middle. As Notre Dame were blitzing to their doubling, failing, and Flutie just tucked the ball under and took off towards the end zone, and he made it. Unbelievable run by the Heisman Trophy winner of 1988. Holy cow, as the great late Phil Rizzuto would say. And let's watch that replay. So again, we were looking uh, play-action fake quarterback rollout. We are trying to hit the tight end, Gieselman, on a medium hitch. Instead, Flutie felt the pressure. Bam! Takes off running past everyone and sprints into the end zone. So let's look at that one more time. We're looking at a... Uh, Right there, right there, beautiful touchdown. Oh, it's so beautiful. I gotta look for it the third and final time. My one of my favorite football players of all time, one of the nicest people you could ever meet, Doug Flutie. All right, so it's about a 22-yard touchdown run. There he is, bam! Tremendous athlete, Doug Flutie. So the BC Eagles are on the board. They can cut it to a six-point lead. They're trailing by seven now. It's 13 to six. And here comes the extra point, the snap, the put down, and it's right down the middle, 13-7. to seven. Snow with the extra point, and it is good. So a very impressive drive led by the Heisman Trophy winner, Doug Flutie. It was pretty much all Doug Flutie. Uh, again, good blocking up front at times. As Notre Dame, just, their defense is tremendous, and Doug Flutie willed the BC Eagles downfield to that touchdown score. Five plays, 56 yards, two minutes and 55 seconds. We have a ball game here at Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. The Turkey Bowl. It's the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish 13. The 1984 Boston College Eagles, led by the Heisman Trophy winner, Doug Flutie, 7. With 13-18 to play in the first half. And in the chat we have, remember, World War One.
All right, so here's the kickoff by Snow. Deep for the Fighting Irish is Yurik. The short men are Browner and Schmitz. Here's the kickoff. Snow lays into it. The short man gets it, and he takes it out just past the 30. So Browner, with a return of 16, brought down by um, Creshbane at the 31. And here comes Joe Montana and the 77 Fighting Irish out onto the field. First and 10 on their 31, looking to answer that tremendous drive by Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles. So Montana, let's just quickly look at Joe Montana's stats. Joe Montana's two for four for 56 yards. Touchdown pass to McAfee and another big bomb to Haynes, 38 yards. Dive. They're going to go dive to Vegas Ferguson. There's Ferguson out of the uh, split backfield. And Vegas Ferguson blasts through the middle, gain of 14. Another tremendous block up front by Horansky for the Fighting Irish. That Irish front uh, offensive line has been blocking absolutely fabulously. So it's first and 10 on the Notre Dame 45. So many weapons here for the Fighting Irish. They're going to go run counter. Run counter trap left to Havens. There goes Havens, and Havens picks up four tough yards, brought down by Holy, and that's Holy's first tackle. As BC was in a 4-3 basic normal man, defensive line outside, keying Havens, but he still picked up four tough yards. Oh, World War One. That's that's he just changed his name. He says World War One fanatic now. Now I'm going to be calling you Remember World War One all the time. I got that in my head. It's all good, my friend. So second and six, Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish break the huddle. They come up to the line of scrimmage, which is the 49-yard line. Montana looks over the situation. He's going to look for a medium cross to Haynes. Montana back to pass. He fires over the middle. He hits Haynes, and that's good for a touchdown. Haynes on the cross. And Notre Dame answers the Doug Flutie drive with a touchdown pass from Montana to Haynes. And it's now 19-7. to We await the extra point. Let's go to that replay. Joe Montana. Medium cross to Haynes. Bam! Splits it. Touchdown. And it was a zone. He split the zone, as you can see. Boston College was in a 4-3 basic short zone defensive line outside. One blitzer, and they were keying Havens. So an excellent play call by Joe Montana and the offensive coordinator for the Fighting Irish. As he hits Haynes on a medium cross, he just split the zone on the cross. So one more time. On the zone, splits it, and he's off to the races. Touchdown. Haynes now two receptions, 89 yards. So... Haynes has burnt this BC defense twice deep. 19-7. Reeve will come on for the extra point now. He has missed one and he has made one. The snap, the placement, Reeve. And he misses again! He No! It just gets inside the upright. Wow, I thought he missed it. It just gets in by the hair of the chinny-chin-chin. Chin. So Notre Dame 20, Boston College 7 with 11.32 to play here. In the first half. So Joe Montana and the Irish offense answer that Boston College Doug Flutie drive with a touchdown of their own. Kicking off is Reeve deep for the 84 Eagles is Bell. The short men are Taylor and Williams. Here's the kickoff. The return's put on. <coughs> Bell has it. He has some running room. He dropped down at the 40. That's a return of 24 yards. Tackled by Harrison of Notre Dame. And here comes Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles. This is, if they win, it's going to be a high-scoring affair as they've had trouble stopping Joe Montana and the 77 national champion fighting Irish. So Doug Flutie brings the BC offense back out onto the field. He willed them down to a touchdown on the last drive. Can he do it again? We shall see. Draw. 
Nah, I don't like that play. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Play action fake. Short out. Phelan. False start. Offense. Oh. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. False start on McDonald. They'll back him up five. It'll be first and 15 from the BC 35. That is not going to help. Again, split backfield. They'll go again with the play action fake. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Medium out. Medium out to Phelan. Play action fake. Flutie with time. He throws to the out and it's caught. Phelan pushed out of bounds by Bradley. A gain of 19. Doug Flutie with time. He was able to get a good line of vision and he fires to Phelan on the out. That's Phelan's first reception for 19 yards. First and 10 as Boston College invades fighting Irish territory on their 46. Flutie and the Eagles break the huddle, go up to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. I'm just curious. Let's check out if we have any better receiving backs. And we don't. So split backfield of Stratford and Bell. They'll stay in the block once again. And again, we're looking for the medium out. This time we're going to go to uh, Gieselman. Tight to, this, uh, tight to the line. Lower right portion of the screen. Hut, hut. Flutie with time. He's looking. He fires to the out. Gain of eight. As he had to dump it to Martin. Gieselman was covered. Golick on the tackle. He pushes Martin out. And that's Martin's second reception for 20 yards. They'll bring up second and two. As Boston College has gone to the pass now. We're going to go dive play. Dive play. Doug Flutie. Doug Flutie will take it himself up the middle. He's got the first down and more. He's off to the races. Holding. Offense. Oh, the 12, yard, the 12 yard gain will come back. Holding on the tight end. Gieselman. First down nullified on the hold. So instead of 1st and 10, it's 2nd and 12 from the Notre Dame 48. So Flutie, under center, split backfield of Bell and Stratford. Wide outs of Phelan. Martin, tight end. Gieselman, he'll now go. To the top of the screen, tight to the line. As a strong left now. Medium hitch. Medium hitch to Martin. Flutie back to pass. Here comes a blitz. Flutie dumps it down. That's a big play. As he felt the pressure, he dumped it down to Stratford. That's a gain of 17. First and 10. Flutie avoided the pass rush. Quickly dumped it to Stratford, who took up took off upfield and was finally brought down by Restick. And that's Restick's second, second tackle for Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish were in a 4-3 basic. Normal man, two blitzers. They were doubling Phelan. So once Stratford got the ball, he had a lot of running room in front of him here at Fenway Park. So it's first and 10 with 9.39 to go here in the first half. The 77 Fighting Irish 20. The 84 Boston College Eagles 7. But they're driving, looking to put another score up on the board. Run counter, sweep right. Bell. There goes Bell. He tries to get around the corner. Two tough yards. He's trying to keep the Notre Dame defense honest. It'll be second and eight on the Notre Dame 29. Field goal attempt here by Snow is a 39% chance of making it. But BC really has to get a touchdown in, trailing by 13. Dive play, Doug Flutie. And Flutie, oh, they got that played. No gain, huge hit by Hemcricker. Nailing Flutie. They sniffed that play out quite quickly. He'll bring up third and eight. Flutie getting up a little groggy. Big hit put on by Hemcricker. 
Flutie now 5 of 9 for 68 yards. That's passing. Let's see what he is rushing. Flutie, 4 rushing attempts, 44 yards and a touchdown. All righty. So it brings up 3rd and 8. Stratford and Bell will block. Play action fake. Hopefully to freeze that freeze that defense for a moment to give Doug Flutie the opportunity to make a big play here. Play action. Roll out. Roll out. Kenyon Martin. Medium fly. Medium fly to Martin. Here's the rollout. He's looking for Martin. Touchdown! Doug Flutie hits him for the touchdown! As Notre Dame fans begin to boo here at Fenway as the BC fans are ecstatic. So Doug Flutie hits Martin on the play-action fake rollout on the medium fly as he beats the Notre Dame defenders and gets into the end zone and it's 20 to 13. Let's watch that extra play. Uh, let's not, well, excuse me. Let's watch that replay. Play action fake. Flutie gets to the outside and hits Martin as the corner was coming in on him. Watch this again. The corner is going to be coming in on him. There's the corner. So Flutie, when he breaks to the outside, the corner came in to try to tackle him. But Flutie quickly gets the ball off to Martin, who is streaking to the end zone on the medium fly. Touchdown one last time. You can see the corner coming in. Flutie hits Martin. He beats the defenders. It's now 20 to 13. Here comes Snow with the extra point. The snap to place. The kick is down the middle. It's now 20 to 14, Notre Dame. What a ball game here at Fenway Park. It's a shootout, folks. The 1977 National Champions, Notre Dame Fighting Irish 20. The 1984 Boston College Eagles, led by Heisman Trophy winner Doug Flutie, 14. Here's the kickoff for Boston College. Snow to kick off. The deep man is Urich. Short men Browner and Schmitz. Here is the kickoff. Snow strikes the ball. And here comes a return. Urich has a return of 23 yards. Brought down by Galvin. And Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish will start first and 10 on their 34. With 7.19 to play in the first half. 77, Notre Dame, 20, the 84, Boston College Eagles, 14. Run counter. Run counter. Play action fake, run counter. Pitch left. Vegas Ferguson. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat. First down. So Hughes, with a false start for Notre Dame, will back them up five yards. Now first and 15 from their 29. Again, split backfield of Havens and Ferguson. The wideouts, Haynes and Dickerson. Tight end, McAfee. So once again, we're going to go play action, fake, run, counter, pitch left to Vegas Ferguson. There's the pitch. Ferguson cannot get to the outside. He barely gets to the line of scrimmage. He does. He's brought down by Holy. That's Holy's second tackle. As BC was in a 4-3 basic normal man doubling McAfee. So it brings up second and 15. Looking for a screen here to Havens. Montana back to pass. Notre Dame sets up the screen. Havens with a lot of running room. That's a gain of 13. Finally brought down by Bill Romanansky. Two yards short of the first down, but it brings a very manageable third and two for the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish on their 42-yard line. BC needs a stop here. 20-14 Irish. With 6.25 to play in the first half. Tr 
crap left Ferguson. The ball's given to Ferguson. He's got the first down and more. And he is finally dragged down from behind by Eton. That's his third tackle. That was an 18-yard gain on the trap left. Lead blocker Havens. Excellent job as well as the front line of this offensive line for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. The BC Eagles have not been able to really stop the Irish running machine. It's now first and 10, Boston College territory on their 45-37 to go, clock running. Notre Dame up by six. They break the huddle. Montana goes to the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. Medium cross, medium cross to Dickerson. Montana back to pass, looking for Dickerson. He dumps it down instead to Havens, who picks up 11 yards and a first down. Romanowski on the tackle. That's Bill Romanowski's third tackle. So he was looking for Dickerson on the medium cross. That was well covered by the BC Eagles defense. He dumped it down to Havens, who picks up the first down. So first and 10, 448 to play in the first half on the BC 29. Here come the Fighting Irish to the line of scrimmage. They're going to go power sweep right, Vegas Ferguson. There goes Ferguson. Lots of blockers out in front of him. He's got the first down. Gain of 11. Oh, it's going to be called back. The wide receiver, Haynes, is called for a holding. So that first down will be nullified on the holding. So instead of first and 10 on the 19, it's going to be first and 20 on the 39. BC looking for a stop here. 3.58 to play in the first half. BC trailing by six. Short hitch. Short hitch to Ferguson. Montana back to pass. He fires to Ferguson. That's a gain of 14. And Bill Romanowski drags him down. Romanowski's fourth tackle for Boston College. Vegas Ferguson's first reception. So it brings up second and six. They already got that big chunk of yardage back. Clock running. 349 to play in the first half. Field goal from here. 63% chance of Reeve making it. Of course, Reeve missed an extra point. Power sweep right. Vegas Ferguson. There goes the sweep. He's around the corner. First down and more. Gain of 10. Gorecki on the tackle for the 84 Boston College Eagles. who are in a 4-3. Normal man defensive line left. So the power sweep went right. And they were doubling McAfee. So first and 10, 301 to play in the first half on the Boston College 15. Ferguson's down to 90%. He is coming off the field to take a rest. And they're going to go with... Urich's going to come in the game. So far he's had kickoff and punt return duties. So Urich comes in the game. Havens is still at 99. And they're going to go sweep right again, this time with Urich. Here's the power sweep right. Yurik has lots of room. First down, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Yurik. Tremendous blocking up front by the Notre Dame offensive line. Big hole provided by Foley. So they go to Yurik. His first touch is a touchdown. And Notre Dame's now up 26 to 14 with 2.13 to play. Extra point pending in the first half. Let's go to the replay here. There's the power sweep right. And there's Yurik getting in. One more time. So a 15-yard touchdown run by Yurik. Look at this power sweep. Tremendous blocking. Look at that. As he's practically untouched. So here comes Reeve for the extra point. The snap the place, and it's good. So with 2.13 to play in the first half, the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish National Champions, 27, 
1984 Boston College Eagles 14. BC needs some more Doug Flutie magic. He has led the Eagles on two touchdown drives. The past two times they've touched the ball. As Clinton Parks jumps in the chat, says, definitely no defense in this game. No, there's not. I'm playing as both offenses, and the computer is playing as both defenses. So, And this is the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts, between the 84 Boston College Eagles, led by Doug Flutie, the Heisman Trophy winner of 1984, and the 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish National Champions, led by Joe Montana. Here is the kickoff by Reeve. Deep for BC is Bell, the shortman Taylor, and Williams. The return is on. Bell has it. Here comes Bell past the 30, and he's stopped at the 35, it looks like. That's a return to 20 tackled by uh, Hankard. And here comes Doug Flutie in the BC offense. They put two touchdowns on the boards on the prior two possessions. But there's only 208 to play. 208 to play in the first half. BC and Notre Dame both have three timeouts. Split backfield of Stratford and Bell. The wideouts are Phelan and Martin. Tight end Gieselman. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. We're going to roll out with Doug Flutie again. Once again, we're going to go, we're going to go a medium hitch this time. Where's the hitch? Medium hitch to Gieselman. There's Flutie. Flutie takes off running. He's got the first down and a little more. 11 yards. And BC will call timeout. Who called timeout? Someone called timeout. Clock stopped. Uh-oh. Oh, two-minute warning. There is no two-minute warning in college football. Well, we'll take it. All right, so Doug Flutie with another run. 11 yards and a first down. The clock stops for the two-minute warning. And now Doug Flutie rushing. Has five attempts for 55 yards and a touchdown. Passing Flutie is 6 of 10, 97 yards. And a touchdown pass to Martin on the medium fly. So it's first and 10 on the Boston College 46. Let's go to the chat real quick with Clinton Parks. He says, BC finished number 5 in 84, beat Houston Cougars in the Cotton Bowl. That is correct. And Notre Dame also won the Cotton Bowl, I believe, in 77. They beat Texas, if I remember correctly. It's, so. All righty, 158 to play in the first half. They break the huddle. Flutie brings the offense up to the line of scrimmage. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Again, roll out Doug Flutie. Medium out, medium out to the tight end, Gesselman. Gieselman. There's a snap. He rolls out looking for Gieselman, and he is sacked. Becker got him. Flutie didn't escape that time. That's an eight-yard loss. Clock running, 151. They're going to go with the hurry up. They're not going to call timeout. Stratford will go out wide. Bell will stay in the block. Medium cross. Stratford. Flutie back to pass. Looking for Stratford. Oh, it's batted down by Calhoun. And it brings up third and 18 with 132 to play in the first half. So Calhoun batted that ball down and said return to sender as we have Eric from Higher Ground Gaming in the chat. How are you, my friend? Happy Thanksgiving to everyone, I forgot to say. As Eric says, hola, Al, and all happy Turkey Day. As we are playing the Turkey Bowl between the 84 Boston College Eagles and the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish at Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Remember to check out Higher Ground Gaming with Eric. Mr. Brody and Miss Maggs. Here comes a third and 18 BC trailing by 13, 27 to 14. Flutie will go in shotgun.
Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. They need 18 yards. Medium out. Medium out. We're going to go combo pass here. And... Phelan, Martin, and Gieselman will all be on the medium pass pattern on the combo. I think we should have Martin because Gieselman's up here. It's going to draw the coverage this way anyway. So here we go. Shotgun snap. Flutie has it. He feels the pressure. He takes off running. Lots of room. He's got the first down and more. Doug Flutie, 24 yard gain. And he quickly calls timeout. Unbelievable. Doug Flutie showing that magic. Unbelievable. On a third and 18, Flutie feeling the pressure. No one opening. He tucks the ball under his arm and takes off up the middle for a 24 yard gain. Let's watch that fabulous replay. And I guess when you call timeout, we can't watch the replay, which stinks. Okay. Anyway, it was absolutely marvelous. <laughs> so first and 10 on the Notre Dame 38 with 1.18 to play. Clock stopped on the timeout by BC. They still have two. So again, Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Actually, you know what? Only only Bell will stay in the block. Shotgun. Let's try to hit Stratford on a screen. Here's a screen pass to Stratford. And they got it! Lots of room! Stratford's off to the races! Touchdown! BC and Doug Flutie! They pulled them within seven as they burn Notre Dame on the, on the screen pass to Stratford. And it's now 27 to 20. Doug Flutie again. Unbelievable. Let's watch this replay. There it is. Look at that. Unbelievable. Beautiful screen. Stratford was off to the races. Excellent blocking up front for him. The screen was set to perfection. Gobble, gobble, Notre Dame. One more time. Look at this screen. Look at it. Blocking out front. Stratford gets the ball and he's off to the races. Touchdown. Third time's a charm. Watch the blocking. Watch how it was set up by Doug Flutie. Notre Dame totally was fooled on this screenplay. There it is. Stratford has it. He's off to the races. And here comes Snow for the extra point. Hoping to pull Boston College to within six. Here's the snap. The placement. Snow right down the middle. It's 27 to 21 with a minute and one second to play in this unbelievable first half here at the Turkey Bowl in Boston, Massachusetts. Fenway Park. What a ball game as in the chat. Eric from Higher Ground Gaming goes whoop whoop. And Clinton Parks says, oh my god. So with a minute one to play in the first half, Snow will be kicking deep to Yurik, Shortman, Browner, and Schmitz. What a ball game here, folks. This is going to be a, a, an offensive slugfest. And really, that's the only thing that Boston College can win. As their defense has not stopped. No, they got to make a stop at some point. They've made a couple of stops. I want to say one. Again, I am not. I am playing both teams' offense. So here's the kickoff by Snow. Yurik's deep. He has it. And he is brought down quickly as he bobbled it. And that allowed the BC special teams to get down there on the kickoff. Russell on the tackle. And now... In the shadow of their own end zone, here comes Joe Montana and the Fighting Irish. They have to be very careful down here. 55 seconds to play. They have all three timeouts. They're going to go sweep right. Sweep right. Uh, we're going to go sweep right. 
that Ferguson should be back in. Yurik's in. Let's bring Ferguson back in. So Vegas Ferguson, who would play for the Patriots later on, will come in the ballgame. Sweep right. Vegas Ferguson. There it is. And Ferguson is forced out. Personal up. foul. Defense. Oh, 15 yard penalty. That's automatic. a killer if you're a First BC down. fan. That is a killer personal foul on uh, Pereira after only a gain of two. Gorecki knocked Ferguson out of bounds, but a personal foul. That's going to be a 15 yards. So instead of second and eight, it's now first and ten on the Notre Dame 26. 49 seconds left in the first half. The 77 Fighting Irish 27. The 84 Boston College Eagles led by Doug Flutie 21. So Notre Dame's out from the shadow of their own end zone. They're going to go screen to Havens. Montana sets up the screen. They hit Havens in stride. He picks up eight. It's second and two, 38 seconds left. Montana will quickly call timeout. They're going to need to pick up bigger chunks of yards here to try to get in field goal range. They have a six-point lead. Reeve missed an extra point. That could come back and haunt the Fighting Irish. So Havens and Ferguson will stay in the block. Medium out. Medium out to Dickerson. Montana back to pass. He has time. No, what happened there? What happened there? Montana is on the run. He pitched it to Hoffman. He pitched to the lineman. He's tripped up after a gain of one, and that was really not a heady play by Joel Montana. He would have been better off throwing the ball away. They called timeout. They have one left. It's third and one. Third and one. Well, we pick up the first down. Clock stops till they set the ball. We do have one timeout left. And you know what? We're going to go head out of bounds. Head out of bounds. We're going to go power sweep right. Power sweep right. With Vegas Ferguson. Third and one. Here comes the power sweep. Ferguson has it. He gets out of bounds. Gain of four. 19 seconds left. So they get the first down. Ver uh, Ferguson, very heady, gets out of bounds. Knew he couldn't get much more than those four yards. It's now first and ten with 19 seconds to go. Ball on the 39-yard line of Notre Dame. Eric from Higher Ground Gaming says, I plan on getting some Diamond Mine baseball sets, including the, a worst teams package over the weekend. Oh, that, that you should do a tournament for that. Again, Eric from Higher Ground Gaming says, any of you guys planning on getting any seasons on Black Friday or over the weekend? I'm going to check out um, Action PC to see what they have. And I also, Steam has a good sale going. So I'm going to check out that. I will take a look at Stratomatic, but I don't think I'm getting anything there. I might go to Diamond Mind. I might go to Diamond Mind. I do like that game. So, all right. First and 10, 19 seconds to go. Ball on the Notre Dame 39-yard line. Havens and Ferguson will stay in the block. We're looking for a medium out. Medium out to Haynes. Montana back to pass. He has time. He but that ball is knocked right back into his face by Thomas. So they couldn't put a pass rush on Joe. But what they tell you, if you can't get a pass rush on, get your hands up. And they did. So at second and 10, 15 seconds to go. Montana will now go into shotgun. Again, Havens. Let's see if we have another receiving tight end. Not really. Okay. So Havens and Ferguson will stay in the block. Shotgun. 15 seconds left. One timeout. Long out. Long out to Haynes. Here's a snap. Montana has time. He's looking. He fires. Roughing and the passer. Oh, and defense. a roughing the passer. 15 yard penalty. Automatic. Wow. First down. Gorecki gets called for nailing Montana, and he hit him hard and in the head. Montana a little wobbly getting up. 
so the gain at 12 now turns into they should tack another 15 uh, 15 yards on um, as that was a reception by Dickerson who broke off his uh, long as uh, long out route So now with six seconds to play, first and ten on the BC 34, 50% chance of making the field goal by Reeve. I don't know if we can get a quick. I don't know if we could get a quick out. I don't know if we could get a quick out. We're gonna bring out the field goal team. We're gonna go with the 50% shot here of making the field goal. Reeve has already missed an extra point. I don't think we I'd like to get five more yards, but I don't with six seconds. I don't know if we can. You know what? Here comes a field goal team, and here comes Reeve. The holder is Muno. Are you sure? Yes. The snap to place, and it is good! He nails it! Unbelievable! From 51 yards out, Reeve nails it! And that ends the first half. It has been wild and woolly here in the Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. The 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish, who won the national title, 27. The 84 Boston College Eagles, 21. So it's a one. What? Did he make kick easy? There's the kick. He made it. 30 to 21. Why didn't the score change up there? It probably will change after I click. So Notre Dame will also receive the kickoff in the second half so they can do the uh, two-for-one kind of deal like the Patriots like to do. So he just, Reeve just banged a 51-yard field goal. He had a 50-50 chance, and he made it. It's now 30-21 to 21, Notre Dame. Notre Dame shall receive, and now they did change it. So at the half, it's 30-21. to 21. Notre Dame now up by nine. Let's quickly go over some uh, statistics. Doug Flutie, 7-12, 135 yards, two touchdown passes. He's been sacked twice. His quarterback rating, 137.2. Joe Montana, 8 of 11, 165 yards. He has two touchdown passes. His quarterback rating, 154.4. Rushing, Doug Flutie, 6 for 79 yards and a touchdown. Other than that, BC has not been able to mount any type of rushing attack. Um, for Notre Dame, Vegas Ferguson, the leading rusher. 12 carries for 89 yards. Uh, Urich has one carry for 15 yards. He scored on a power sweep. And Montana also has a touchdown on a bootleg. Receiving, hey, um, Haynes, the leading receiver yardage-wise for Notre Dame. Two receptions, 89 yards, and a touchdown. McAfee also has a touchdown. For the BC Eagles, Stratford out of the backfield, two receptions for 55 yards. Uh, Flutie's two touchdowns are to Stratford and Martin, or Montana's two touchdown passes, as I stated, Haynes and McAfee. So here comes the second half. The over looks good in this game, folks. The over looks good. And we have ID Gesture in the chat. How are you, my friend? Happy Thanksgiving. As Eric's leaving to bring Mr. Brody for a walk. Alrighty, so here comes the second half. What an exciting first half. Here comes the kickoff. Snow will be kicking deep, hopefully, to Yurik, the short men for Notre Dame, Browner, and Schmitz. Here's the kickoff. It goes to the short man. Browner has it. Return of 18 brought down by McPherson, Notre Dame, and the offense led by Joe Montana comes back out onto the field. They'll start first and 10 on the 34. What a ball game. Defense, anyone? Not so much. Split backfield with Havens and Ferguson. The wideouts are Haynes and Dickerson, the tight end. McAfee, the quarterback under center, Joe Montana. They're going to go run counter. Run counter. Pitch left. Havens. There's the pitch to Havens, and he is off to the races. 
Gain of 10. They bring the sticks out. He has it. By the hair of the chinny chin chin. First and 10 now on the Notre Dame 44. Tackle by Eton. That's his fourth tackle. BC was in a 4-3 basic tight man. And they were keying Havens. And they still gave up 10 yards. And you can just see this. Look at the front line here. Mike Ruth. The defensive tackle is outstanding. 8 out of 10. Tremendous player in college. Okay. But then you have a 4. A 5. And a 5. Against. Look at this. 7 and 8. 7. 6-6. Six, six. Ruth is the only one. Okay. So. Notre Dame should be scoring at will, and they pretty much have. It's Doug Flutie in the offense, pretty much Doug Flutie, who have kept BC in this game. So first and 10 from the Notre Dame 44, and we're going to go back. Power sweep right to Vegas Ferguson. Here comes the power sweep, and Ferguson, he's got 10 yards and a little more. Game at 12, he has now 13 rushes for 101 yards, finally brought down by Russell. Boston College was in a 4-3 basic normal man defensive line to the outside. So they're trying to play the sweep, but their offensive line is so much better than the front seven of the BC Eagles. So it's first and ten. So two consecutive run plays have produced two first downs for the Fighting Irish of 1977. 13.56 to go in the third quarter. Notre Dame up by nine, 30-21 over the BC Eagles. Montana and the offense break the huddle. They approach the line of scrimmage. Play action fake. Run counter. Pitch left. Ferguson. Ferguson does not get around the corner this time. Thomas comes in and torpedoes them after a gain of one as they were keying Havens. So the run counter, if Thomas doesn't make that tackle, they're keying Havens. We're pitching left to Ferguson. He probably had a lot to run, but Thomas torpedoes him. So it brings up second and nine. Play action fake. Havens and Ferguson to stay in the block. Short hitch. Dickerson. Montana back to pass. He throws. Intercepting. The big play by BC. As Eton stepped in front of the Joe Montana pass for Dickerson. And he intercepts it. And that's the break that the Boston College Eagles of 1984 needed. And here comes Doug Flutie, the Heisman Trophy winner, back out onto the field. Trailing by nine. Montana just hangs his head as Eton jumped the route. So here comes Flutie and the BC Eagles to start off their first drive of the second half. Flutie under center. The running backs are Stafford and Bell. The wideouts Phelan and Martin. The tight end is Gieselman. They're going to go draw Stratford. Flutie back to pass. He hands it to Stratford. He has a little running room. And that little running room quickly became nothing as it's only a gain of two tackle by Golick. That's Golick's fourth tackle for the Fighting Irish. The Irish were in a 4-3 basic, normal zone, defensive line outside. So it brings up second and eight at midfield for Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles. Clinton Parks says, why are they booing at Fenway Park when BC should have been the home team? This is a bowl game called the Turkey Bowl. The home team is actually the Fighting Irish because they have the better record. And there's a ton of Notre Dame fans in Boston area or in Massachusetts. So that's why they're booing. So here comes Doug Flutie. They break the huddle. Second and eight. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Quarterback rollout. Medium hitch. Phelan. Oh, I should have done that. That was up to the top. Doubled. Phelan was doubled. Heavy pass rush. And that's incomplete. I should have went to Martin. I forgot Phelan's at the top. He's throwing across the field. That's a very bad thing. <laughs> and now what we're going to do. Third and eight. Ball at midfield. Stratford and Bell to block. Short and quick. Phelan. 
Flew back to pass. He tries to take off, but Golick nails him for a three-yard loss. Doug Flutie is unable to escape. They're trying to three-step drop and quickly fire to Phelan to the outside. Three blitzers doubling Phelan. Flutie had no time to check down to anywhere else. It's fourth and 11, and the Notre Dame defense holds after the Montana interception. And here comes the punt team for Boston College. So Peach will come back out to punt Bergmeier deep for the Fighting Irish. He'll punt deep. Here's the punt. Peach fields it. And he's tackled around the 20. So a punt of 38, return of 5. Norton on the tackle for Boston College. And Joel Montana comes out with the, with the Irish offense to start first and 10 on the 20. They have a 9-point lead. Again, Ferguson and Havens in the backfield. Haynes and Dickerson, the wideouts. McAfee, the tight end. Joel Montana under center. They're going to go dive play. Dive play to Vegas Ferguson. Punt! Ferguson up the middle. Off to the races. Gain of 13. 15 rushes for 115 yards for Ferguson. First and 10 on the Notre Dame 33. And they're going to take Ferguson out of the game for a little breather. And they're going to bring... Mitchell in. So Mitchell will come in. We're going to go screen to Mitchell. Montana back to pass, setting up the screen. Incomplete. Tipped by Romanowski. He breaks up the screenplay. Excellent job by Bill Romanowski. Brings up second and ten. Power sweep right with your, with Mitchell. Ball's given to Mitchell, and he is brought down for no gain as Von Neeson comes flying in and puts the big hit on Mitchell. It's now third and ten, so they didn't get any chunks of yardage there on the next two plays. And here comes Vegas Ferguson back off the bench. Play action. Havens and Ferguson to stay in the block. Short hitch. McAfee, the tight end. They're keying it. They're keying it. Medium fly to Haynes. Montana chains up the play. He fires. He dumps it down. It's a gain of 11 by Havens. Tackled by Romanowski. Joe Montana stayed very calm. Went through his progressions and hits Havens for the first down. First and 10. On the Notre Dame 44, once again, Bill Romanowski on the tackle. That is his sixth tackle of the game. Here comes Joe Montana, the Notre Dame offense. Play action, run counter. Pitch left. To Havens. There it is. Havens has it. And again, he can't get around that corner. Excellent tackle by Holy. And Ruth, their best defensive player, uh, at least for the front line, is coming off. He's limping off the field and his return is questionable. And that is going to really hurt this BC defense. As in the chat. ID Jester, check out his channel, wonderful channel, ID Jester. Says high scoring game here. As Clinton Parks is singing fight songs in the chat. All right, second and nine. Ball on the Notre Dame 45, 838 to play in the third quarter. The 77 Fighting Irish 30, the 84 BC Eagles 21. Montana. They're going to look screen to Vegas Ferguson. They set it up. They dump it to, oh, and Ferguson bobbles it and dropped it. And he had a lot of green grass out in front of him here at Fenway Park with blockers out in front. But he drops the ball. BC was in a normal double McAfee. So it brings up third and nine. And the Boston College Eagles without Mike Ruth have to come up big here on defense. 
So it's up to Bill Romanowski, really. And Thurman, those are their two best defensive players. 10 out of 10 and 7 out of 10 right here. Everyone else for the BC Eagles on defense is average to below average. Havens and Ferguson to stay in the block. Combo pass. Dickerson will go short. Haynes and McAfee medium. Montana under center. He takes the snap. He drops back the pass. Field the pressure. Takes off the run. But he is brought down after a gain of four. The BC defense holds. Tackle by Eton, who also has an interception. He has five tackles on the day. Montana now has three carries for 11 yards and one touchdown on that wonderful bootleg. And fourth and five at the Notre Dame 49, and they will punt with a nine-point lead and 8.21 to play in the third quarter. So here comes Restick. He'll punt deep to Phelan. The snap, the punt, return, fair catch, or let it roll. Return. Here comes Phelan, and oh, he is brought down on the, quite quickly, it's a loss of two on the 47-yard punt by Restick, and the Doug Flutie and BC offense will start first and 10 on their two. They are in the shadows of their own end zone. This is not good, folks, not good. You're going to go dive with Flutie. Flutie will take the ball right up the middle. And he picks up one yard. Trying to get a, away from that end zone. Tackle by Dyke. That's his first tackle. So second and nine. Play action fake. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Bomb post. Bomb post. To Martin. Here comes the pass rush. He's picked up. He pass interference. Yes. Defense. Automatic. First so down. So they're going bomb post to the tight end. It was covered. Flutie checked down to Phelan. And Bradley drilled him. He was all over him. But it's pass interference. It will be first and ten for BC. On their 12-yard line. So they're away from... From the close shadows of the end zone. They're at like the medium shadows of their end zone now. They break the huddle. Flutie brings them up to the line of scrimmage. Screen to Stratford. Flutie back to pass. And Dyke deflects it. And breaks up the screen play. Second and ten now from the BC 12. 641 to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame 30, Boston College 21 in this Turkey Bowl from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. I understand that, Clinton, but I really it doesn't tell you where the ball's at. And seeing how the offense is going, we've had some big returns. So I've also let it roll in this game. I don't know if you've watched, this computer cheats. I've had field goals made and the mysterious penalty. I've had field goals missed with 90% chance of making it. I've had balls I thought would roll in the end zone that are downed on the one. So, <laughs> I, I do understand football, my friend. It's just, I'm playing the computer. So I do a little things a little differently. I take the cheating of the computer in my game planning. So it's now second and ten. Uh, draw. Uh, I don't like that. Man, we just can't get a. Uh... You know what? Let's try a play action run counter. 10 7 10. Stratford. Pitch right to Stratford. Hopefully, you can get around that corner. <laughs> And he does not. Tackled at the line of scrimmage by Calhoun. Third and ten. That's Calhoun's second tackle. 
Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Flutie. Roll out. Martin, we need 10 yards. Medium hitch to Martin. There's the rollout, medium hitch. He tries to dump it to Gieselman. Incomplete. As he was hit while he threw the ball, fourth and 10. BC will have to punt. Here comes Peach out on the field with the punt team. Bergmeyer deep for Notre Dame. Here's the deep punt. And he shanks it. Oh, what a horrible punt. He shanked it off the side of his foot. Only goes 23 yards. And it's not bad enough that Joe Montana and the Notre Dame offense is coming out on the field. They put 30 points up, but they're going to start first and 10 in the Boston College 35. And there's no Mike Ruth on the defensive line. So here comes Montana. In the backfield, Ferguson and Havens. Wideouts, Haynes and Dickerson, tight end, McAfee. Run counter. Run counter. Trap left. Havens. And there's a mix-up in the backfield. Montana busted play. He's nailed by Holy. Loss of three. So there was a mix-up in the backfield. Second and 13. So we're going to go back to our trusty power sweep to Vegas Ferguson. Here it comes. And there goes Ferguson, but he's brought down by Gorecki. I wonder if he's related to Greg Gorecki, our good friend of the champ. Gain of three brings up third and ten. 4.59 to play in the third quarter. Notre Dame 30, Boston College 21. It was all offense in the first half, and neither team has scored in the second half. A field goal attempt from here. By Reeve is 45%. He's already banged in a 50-yard... Was it? I think it was a 51-yarder at the end of the half. So it's third and 10. Havens will go out wide. Ferguson will stay in the block. Dickerson. Two and five. Haynes. McAfee. Haynes. Short hitch. Short hit to Haynes. Haynes. Incomplete! Broken up by Thurman. Intended for Haynes. McAfee was hurt on the play. He's going to the sideline. He'll be out about four plays and now brings up fourth and ten. 45% chance of making a field goal here. 35. It's a 52-yarder. He made a 51-yarder. What are the odds? The odds are 45% of him making two long field goals. Notre Dame's up by nine. I guess we could try to pin them back. 35. We could go for it. Pooch punt is 31 yards. We're going with the pooch punt. Pooch punt. And it's dead at the four. Now, see, I didn't do anything there. This is what I'm going to explain. As Clinton Park says, pooch it. Yep, that's what I did. Good call, Clinton. But that's what I mean. I could have went, let the ball roll, and that's what would have happened. I've never seen let the ball, since I've played this game, Clinton, and anyone else watching, I've never seen the ball when I say let it roll go in the end zone. It's always downed. And I didn't do anything there, the computer, because I was a punk team. Um, the computer... I've never seen the ball roll in the end zone. That's why I always say return it. All right, so Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles come out onto the field. First and ten, once again, starting inside their own five on their, on their four. I'm going to go for broke here. Stratford and Bell to block. Play action fake. Medium fly. Phelan. Flutie takes off. He runs. And he's brought down after a gain of two. Becker on the tackle. Notre Dame was in a 4-3 pass. Wow, they're playing pass. And they were doubling Stratford. So they're looking, they were looking screen Notre Dame. But again, look at the, so Phelan, Phelan's a 10. 
but he's guarded by a 10, and their safety's a 9, so they basically shut him down. Then we have Martin, who's a 6. Again, that's not bad, but Bergmeier's a 9. Who's, and again, the safety on this side of the field is a 6, uh, sorry, a 9. Their lowest ranked defensive player on the field right now is Fry, the defensive end, and he's 7 against the run. Overall, 7-2 on the pass rush. So it's second and eight, clock running 405. Third quarter, BC trails by nine. Ah, we need something. Short to the flat to Stratford. <coughs> Incomplete. Flutie and Stratford cannot connect up. Third and eight. Bell and Stratford will stay in the block. Where's Gieselman? Wow, Browner, 10 out of 10 for sack. Gieselman's going to stay in the block, too. We're going to go max protect. Two men will be in this pattern. The other players will release at some point. And we're actually going to go combo pass. Uh, Martin and Phelan both on the medium. Hot, hot. Here's the play. And there's a fumble! Flutie feels the pressure! Who has it? Boston College recovers it! Who? And re Doug Flutie recovers his own fumble. He was stripped by Dyke. Wow. So it's 4th and 13, and here comes the punt team. And Peach comes back out on the field. He, his average deep punt is only 34 yards. Bergmeier's back. Along with Schmitz. Here's the punt. Not a lot of room there. Here comes the return. 38-yard punt. 7-yard return by Schmitz. Tackle by Lindstrom. And with 2.40 to play in a third quarter. It's been a scoreless third quarter. It looks like Notre Dame has a good shot of scoring here. They'll start first and 10 on the Boston College 34. Clinton Parks is yelling, work the clock. Work the clock. That's what we're going to do, my friend. The pooch punt also worked. It kept them pinned back. I couldn't mount any offense for Boston College. Dive play Ferguson. Going right at them. Gain of four. Play the slowdown here. 2.32 to play. Dive play to Havens. Second and six. There goes Havens. Up the middle. First down. Gain of seven. Foley was hurt. On the play, he's heading to the sideline. Clock stops on the injury. Field goal from here. 71% chance of success for Reeve. But I don't think BC will be able to stop this run game. Off tackle right. Off tackle right. Ferguson. There goes Ferguson. Huge hole. He sees the end zone. And he's dragged down from behind by Bill Romanowski. Foley comes back out onto the field for Notre Dame. That was a gain of 18. Notre Dame taking their time, catching their breath in the huddle. 136 to play. They're three yards away from punching another one in, and this will be the first score if they do so in the third quarter. They're they up by nine. Ferguson on the dive. Here's Ferguson. Touchdown right up the middle. Excellent blocking once again by the Notre Dame offensive line. No fooling around on that drive. They just kept it ground and pound. Four plays, 32 yards, and a touchdown. Let's look at that replay by Vegas Ferguson. He goes right up the middle, right through that BC front seven. BC was in a 4-3 run short zone, and they were keying Havens. So everything was wrong about that call by the computer. There it is. Bim, right up the middle, touchdown. With no Mike Ruth there, Mike Ruth would have been right here. He was a 10 out of 10. Again, would it have mattered? Probably not, but it's a big drop off. Here's the extra point. And Reeve makes it. Notre Dame. 37, Boston College 21, 16-point lead for the Fighting Irish of 1977, the national champions. 
So Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles will have tremendous, tremendous work to do here, down by 16. Kicking off is Reeve, deep is Bell, the short men are Taylor and Williams. The return is put on. I believe that's the short man, and he gets it to the 43, I think. Taylor, 30-yard return brought down by Johnson, so here comes Doug Flutie with 43 seconds left in the third quarter, trailing by 16. That would be cool, Clinton. That would be cool. Clinton Parsons, no halftime band, no slow-mo. What is this? It's a great game. Um, that would be cool if I could probably, you know what, if you if I tried to use a halftime band music, I'd get flagged for copyright. It's bad enough I get flagged for everything I do and I have to fight them on it. Like I have improper content or something. Anyway, that's a discussion for another day. So first and ten with 43 seconds left in the third quarter. It's just frustrating that you sit out here, you play a game, and there's nothing bad about it. And I get flagged for inappropriate content. Because someone is flagging me. Oh well, they should get a life. I'm going to go Max Protect. Stratford, Bell, and Gieselman will all stay in the block. Play action fake. We're going for broke. Bomb post. Bomb post to Phelan. Flutie takes off running. Gain a six. And that will be, you know what? We're going to hurry to the line to try to catch him off guard. Uh, second and four. Bell and Stratford will stay in the block. Short out to Gieselman, the tight end. Booty back to pass. Dumps it. Incomplete. Was looking for Stratford. And now it brings up third and four with eight seconds to play in the third quarter. And we have to pick up. This is two down. Ugh. Could be two down territory here, really. Ah, oh, man, I gotta pick this up. Flutie. Bootleg with Doug Flutie. There goes Flutie. Oh, he can't get around the corner. No game. Golick stayed home, makes the tackle. That's the end of the third quarter. We go to the fourth quarter, the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish 37, the 1984 Boston College Eagles 21, so Montana and the Fighting Irish getting the best of Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles. Fourth and four from the BC 49. We're going to go for it. We have not, the, the computer defense has not stopped Notre Dame. As you see, I put 37 points on the board. I put 21 points on for Boston College. It's just, there's a big difference in the defenses. Clinton Parks wants a pitch left. I think that was on the third down play. Not a bad thought process. I've tried it. Well, they've been putting a lot of pressure on Flutie. Flutie's now 7 to 17, 135 yards, two touchdowns. Draw. Ah, they're gonna that that's not gonna work. They're not gonna fall for any of my little tricks. They they've seen all my little tricks. That's how I've gotten 21 points on the board. Okay, we're gonna go Stratford out wide. Flutie in the shotgun. Build a block. Combo pass. Need four. Stratford on the medium. Gieselman on the short. Phelan on the long. Martin on the medium. There's a snap. Flutie back to pass. He throws over the middle. Ball knocked loose. Gieselman had it, but he was nailed by Browner. If Gieselman could have held on, it would have been first and ten. But Browner put a heck of a lick on him. Ball hits the grass. And it's turnover on downs, first and ten. And here comes Joe Montana on the Notre Dame offense. And you probably will not see the ball in the air again. Well, ID Gesture, I do try different plays. That's the only way you're going to score against a computer because they have their algorithm. 
Um, that was a different play I just tried. Sometimes you, you you can call the same play. Like, I can call the same play over and over for Notre Dame, and every third play it's going to be successful because they're just much better. Again, let's just look at this. I'm going to run the ball down their throats right now. Four, four, five, five. Seven, seven, eight, six, six. So I'm going to go run counter. I, I do mix the plays up. Run counter. Power sweep left. Havens. There goes Havens. And he's picked up nine yards. Again, we have mismatches here. Five and five are never going to stop. The only way they stop it is if Romanowski and even Holy are run blitzing. So, second and one, we're going to slow the clock down here. And we're going to take Havens out. And we'll let Mitchell get a carry here. I'm going to go dive to Mitchell. Second and one, here's a dive. And he gets two tough yards. Holy was coming in. He makes the tackle. They were playing a 4-3 normal zone run. That's Holy's seventh tackle. Again, clock running. Notre Dame very slow out of the huddle. They have a 16-point lead here at the Turkey Bowl, fourth quarter. 37-21 to 21 over the BC Eagles of 1984. Joe Montana finally gets him to the line of scrimmage. They're going to go pitch right, run counter, pitch right. Mitchell. Mitchell's got the corner. Grabbing the face man. Oh, no, face man. Five yard penalty, automatic, first down. So it's a five yard face, ma face mask penalty. The tackle is by Von Neeson, who. So uh, away from the play, Pereira with another penalty. So it's first and ten. Clock stops on the penalty on the BC 26. Mitchell will come out of the game, and Yurik will come in. Trap left with Yurik. And Yurik bounces through for four yards. Tackle by Bosa. That's Bosa's second tackle. Again, Notre Dame slows it down. 13 minutes of playing the game. Notre Dame has a 16-point lead. Here comes Stone into the game. Trap right. Stone. And Stone bounces through, breaks past the defense. Gain of 16, finally brought down from behind by Russ, uh, by Van Neeson as Russell missed the tackle. And it's first and goal from the Boston College 6 as Notre Dame is just going to pound this ball in and put this game away as nails are in the coffin now. Nails are in the coffin for the BC Eagles. Here comes Orsini. Run counter. Off tackle left. Vegas Ferguson. This is a touchdown, folks. Oh, my God. Boston College smothers that play. Holy on the stop. As they're playing 4-3 run tight man. And that's Holy's eighth tackle. Brings up second and goal. Clock's under 12 minutes. Havens will come back in the game. He's had his breather. Ferguson will go out. Mitchell back in. Actually, Yurik will come in. Power sweep left with Havens. Here comes a power sweep and a touchdown as he blasts in. Getting that last yard on a dive. Touchdown, Havens. It's now 43-21, to and the route is officially on with 10.38 to play in the fourth quarter here at Fenway Park and the Turkey Bowl. Let's see the replay on that power sweep. Excellent blocking. Bam, right through there. One more time. Look at that power sweep. Reminis reminiscent of the Green Bay Packers under Vis Vince Lombardi. Here comes Reeve for the extra point. He has missed one today, but he's also made a 51-yard field goal. 
Extra mm. point is good. Now 44 to 21. And here comes Doug Flutie in the Boston College offense. Prepare. Here's the kickoff. Bell deep. The short men are Taylor and Williams. Here comes a return. It's a good one. Pass the no. Stop. block. Uh, Receiving team. So Russell will have the illegal block. And the return of 25 yards is nullified. And once again, inside the 10, the Boston College Eagles and Doug Flutie will start with 10.31 to play. Notre Dame 44, Boston College 21. Medium out. Stratford. Hut, hut. Flutie back to pass. He fires and it's complete and out of bounds. Gain of 19. Trapillo was hurt on the play. He goes to the sideline. He His return is probable, though. So, again, Flutie and the BC Eagles are going to try to play the sideline here. First and 10 on their 27. Bomb post. Phelan. Flutie back to pass. He dumps it down. The bell. He bobbles it and drops it after Becker nails him. So, it's second and 10. They're trying to go deep to Phelan, and they had Phelan double covered, the Fighting Irish. Medium out. Martin. They're keying that. Medium hitch to Phelan. Flutie back the pass, he feels the pressure, he's hit the ball, he's loose! He Notre Dame recovers it! Defense, five yard penalty, automatic, first down. But all for not, a defensive holding call by Bradley will nullify the turnover by Flutie on the big hit uh, by Calhoun and the recovery of Golick. So instead of a turnover, it will be first and ten for the BC Eagles on their 32. Stratford will go out wide. Doug Flutie will go in the shotgun. Havens will stay in the block. Medium cross. Stratford. Pressure on Flutie and he's sacked by Browner. Loss of six. Many, many Notre Dame fans here at Fenway Park. That's Browner's first sack. Second and 16. Clock running. BC goes to the hurry up. Stratford and Bell will stay in the block. Flutie and shotgun. Screen. To Martin. They're keying that. We're going to continue with the play. And Flutie again is brought down. Tremendous pressure put on. Try to go to a wide receiver screen and beat the blitz. We figured there were blitz and we couldn't even get the pass off. Hemrichter with the sack. As Notre Dame was in a 4-3 pass, normal man. One blitzer, defensive line out. So it brings up a third and 23 with 9.37 to play. Quickly moving to the line is Doug Flutie. He's going to go under center this time. The shotgun has not worked. Stratford will go out wide. Bell will stay in the block. Flutie will roll out. He's going to look for Strat uh, Stratford. 23. Medium hitch. Stratford. There's the rollout. Buys himself. Oh, intercepted! Intercepted! A bad pass on the medium hitch. Becker jumped that route. He picks it off at the 28, brought down at the 14. And those are the final nails if it wasn't already in. And here comes Joe Montana once again with 9-11 to play and the Notre Dame offense. Dive to Urich. Hot. Up the middle. Gain of five. They go to the slowdown. Almost under nine minutes almost. 9.03 to play in the game. As Notre Dame has broke 
broken his game wide open. Trap right, Havens. Havens busts through for three. Romanowski with the tackle. That's Bill Romanowski's ninth tackle. BC was in a 4-3 basic normal man defensive line to the outside. And we're going to go Montana on the dive. There goes Montana, and he sprints in for his second rushing touchdown. 50-21, to 21 as the Notre Dame fans are ecstatic here at Fenway Park as the beating continues. There will be no Doug Flutie miracle today in the Turkey Bowl. Reeve for the extra point. Oh, let's watch the replay because I like replays. Bam! Look at that. Great offensive play call. But, I mean, really, let's. They, their defensive line up front uh, is awful. So here's the extra point by Reeve. And he makes it. It's now 51-21. to 21. BC trails by 30. Here's the kickoff. The return's on. Reeve kicks it. Goes short. And be stopped at the 41-yard line. That's a return of 22 yards by Taylor. Brought down by Johnson. We're going to go two tight ends. Stratford's a six. Haven's a three. Bell and Stratford will go out wide. Flutie in the shot. Actually, in the pistol. In the pistol. Short slant. To Gieselman. Oh, my God. It was everyone broke through that offensive line. Flutie is sacked again. Doug Flutie's been sacked seven times, most of them coming in the second half. My God, everyone broke through. They blitzed four. Watch this. Doug Flutie had no place to go. He was smothered. Look at that. Ouch. No blocking up front. Flutie tried to step up. Nowhere to go. Second and 16. They quickly go to the hurry up. Again, he stays in the pistol. So they're going to blitz when we put everyone out. But that's what we're going to do. So he's in the pistol. Let's go shotgun, actually. Again, short slant. If they blitz, we can get this. Hopefully, get this slant off. To Bell. False start. Offense. Five yard oh. penalty. Repeat. Second down. Boy, when it rains, it pours. False start now makes it second and 21. Even Gieselman will go out wide. A tight end. Bomb post. Failing. <laughs> Flutie fires incomplete. Tight coverage on Phelan. They wanted a flag. They don't get it. Third and 21, 650 to play in the game. Screen to Stratford. They dump it. Holding offense. 10 oh. yard penalty. So holding on Bardwell. Stratford was the intended receiver. Notre Dame declines it. It's now 4th and 21, and we're going to punt the ball away. Down by 30. Fair catch by Bergmeier. Oh, he dropped it. He signaled the fair catch. He dropped it, but quickly covered it up on the 40-yard punt. And Joe Montana will come out of the game. And here comes Litch. They come in for Joe Montana. Havens will come out of the game. It will be Mitchell and Stone. As everyone's getting some playing time now. Oh, Stone. Haynes will come out of the game. It'll be Hart. Dickerson will stay in. McAfee will come out of the game. Driscoll will come in. So Mitchell and Stone are in the backfield. Hart and Dickerson, the wideouts. Driscoll, the tight end. And Litch, Litch, S-L-I-S-C-H, I think it's Litch, is the quarterback. And dive play to Stone. Hut, hut. There's Stone up the middle. Look at that running room. Look at that running room. 
14-yard gain, and Stone was hurt on the plate, limps off and won't return. As Havens comes in, but we're going to quickly take him out, Urich will come in. Clock running. Oh, clock stopped, I'm sorry, on the injury. 6.25 to play in this game. It's all, it's all, it's done. It's done. Academic, or whatever you want to call it. Trap left to Mitchell. Hot. And he busts through, gain of six. Eton on the tackle, on tackle number seven. Again, they come very slowly out of the huddle, Notre Dame. Second and four. Off tackle right to Urek. Gain of three tripped up by Harrington. That's Harrington's second tackle. It's third and one. Quarterback dive. Hut, hut. Lynch goes right up the middle. First down. Gain of three. Ruth is back in the game. He makes the tackle. So Ruth is playing injured as before he was 10 out of 10. He's 8 out of 10 now. Clock running. Off tackle left Mitchell. Hey, oh, wow. Lots of running room for Mitchell. Gain of 22. Finally dropped down Pereira. Off tackle right, Urich. Hot. Only a gain of two tackle by Gaffney. Clock's down to 3-11 in the game. And I shall be back in a moment. And I am back. Thank you for your patience. 311 to play. Trap left Mitchell. And he is smothered down. Loss of one. Clock's at 226. No play. Bring that down to the two minute warning. Third and nine. Will we let Lich throw the ball? No. <laughs> Let's see. Let's do an end around. Actually, let's not do that. That's kind of rotten. Um, draw. Yurik. He's brought down after a gain of three. 151 to play. We'll let it run down to 112 and call timeout. And here comes a field goal team as let's see if Reeve can make this. 66% chance of making it. The snap, the place, the hold, and he makes it. 54 to 21. The BC fans have already left. It's what's left is Notre Dame fans here at Fenway Park. The Turkey Bowl will be a crushing defeat for the 84 Boston College Eagles. And a wonderful win for the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish who won the national title. Here's the kickoff. Here comes Bell. Tackled by Hankard. 23-yard return. A minute two to play. Doug Flutie back out on the field. And screen to Stratford. And this time they hook up. First down. Timeout. They want to get a love to get another touchdown on the board, make it sort of respectable. Two left. 
medium cross to Phelan. Hope to Phelan. We're going with it anyway. They're keying it. Flutie back to pass. He throws. Incomplete. Gibbons breaks it up. He got his fingers on it. As pressure was being applied, Flutie ran out of the pocket. So 42 seconds left. Screen to Bell. He hooks up with Bell. First down. But they're in blowout prevent, so we're gonna call timeout again. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a garbage touchdown here. So again, we're gonna go screen. They're in prevent blowout. Stratford brought down after an eight yard gain. We'll use our final timeout. Everybody, mambo, shotgun. Bell and Stratford will be out wide. Gieselman will be out wide. Combo pass. We can use four. Actually, we're going to have Bell stay in the block. Long. Long and long. And okay. Last play, most likely. Flutie takes off up the middle. He runs, 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 runs. Brought down. And that's going to be the ball game, folks. And it is. So the last play of the game is a Doug Flutie scramble for 13 yards. And that put him over 101 yards. So the Turkey Bowl played here in Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. The 1977 Notre Dame Fighting Irish who won the national title, 54. And the 84 Boston College Eagles, 21, led by Doug Flutie, the Heisman Trophy winner. It was interesting in the first half, and then BC just couldn't. When Mike Ruth went out of the game, that was pretty much the game. He came back in. He went from a 10 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10, and that was the game. Or was he always an 8 out of 10? I don't know. Either way, he was out of the game for a long time. Let's go to the box score. Bring that up. Oh, my Lord, that's bad. Now let's bring the box score up. There we go. Fit to the screen. Box score should be up shortly. First, let me say thank you to Clinton Parks in the chat. Uh, Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, check out his channel, Higher Ground Gaming. Also, ID Jester, thank you very much. Check out his channel. And uh, I think that's World War I Fanatic was in here earlier. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Greatly appreciate you took time out. Spent some time with me. Hopefully you enjoyed the football game. It got away from us at the end. I was playing both offenses. Uh, Notre Dame was just a better defensive team. Hands down. Again, look at the ratings. It was a fun game. I enjoyed it. I love Doug Flutie and Boston College in the day. I was hoping to do a better offensive job. We put up 21 points. All in the second quarter. So Flutie went 11-27, 187 yards, one interception, two touchdowns. He was sacked seven times. His quarterback rating dropped after the half to 74.2. Rushing, Doug Flutie, 11 rushes, 101 yards with a touchdown. Joe Montana only threw the ball 16 times, completed nine for 176 yards. He had one pick and two touchdowns. His quarterback rating, 108.3. Vegas Ferguson, 20 carries, 143 yards. That's a 7.2 average. He had a touchdown. Havens, 11 for 52 with a touchdown. Urex, 6 for 32 with a touchdown. Montana, 5 for 14. He had two rushing touchdowns, one on a bootleg, one on a dive play. In total, in total, Notre Dame rushed, Notre Dame rushed for 311 yards. Receiving, Haynes had a day. Two receptions, 89 yards, and a touchdown. McAfee only had one reception. It was a touchdown. Havens, four for 43. Ferguson, one for 14. Dickerson, one for 12. 
Let's go to the scoring. We'll call it a stream. Notre Dame scored 11:22 uh, mark. Montana an eight yard, 18 yard pass to McAfee. I'm sorry, with 11:22 to play in the first quarter, and Reeve missed the extra point, six nothing. Then with a minute 20 to play, a Montana a four yard bootleg. Reeve made the kick, 13-0. Boston College would come back on a tremendous drive mustered by Doug Flutie. Uh, second half, second quarter, 13-18 mark. On a 22-yard Doug Flutie scramble for the touchdown. Snow with the extra point. Five plays, 56 yards, all Doug Flutie. Uh, then Notre Dame answered right back, right back, 11:32 to play. Um, Montana with a 51-yard pass to Haynes. Extra point good. Made it 20-7 Notre Dame. Then before the half, Flutie a 38-yard pass to Stratford. Oh, before that, I'm sorry. A 29-yard pass to Martin on the medium fly. 20-14. Then Notre Dame goes up 27-14. Then Doug Flutie 38-yard pass to Stratford. Made it 27-21 with the extra point. Before the half, no time left on the clock. Reeve kicks a 51-yard field goal. He had a 50-50 chance. He made it. Made it 30-21 at the half. Things were still pretty good. But Notre Dame would score after the field goal. One, two, three, four more times unanswered. Ferguson, a three-yard run, kicked good. Havens, a six-yard run, kicked good. Montana, a six-yard run, kicked good. Then Reeve, a 35-yard field goal. Final score, 54-21 to in the Turkey Bowl between the 84 Boston College Eagles and Doug Flutie and the 77 Notre Dame Fighting Irish and Joe Montana from Fenway Park, Boston, Massachusetts. Notre Dame is victorious. Thank you once again for joining me. Health, happiness. Till next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Peace.